Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 25 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem and everything in between. Uh, today, we have an I 2370, longest ideal subsequence. Uh, yeah, hit all the buttons and all these things. I have a little bit of a, uh, a story. You, you could skip ahead if you like, uh, if you think about this poem. Um, don't, those of you who follow my, my stream, I sometimes talk about my workout and stuff like this. Uh, right now, in case you're wondering, if not that, I guess you skipped ahead anyway. But uh, yeah, I, I try to run about three, four or five times a, a week. Um, and I do weight training three days a week. Um, though this week I'm on a, a deload, so it's a little lighter. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what, what what I was thinking, to be honest. I think, like, my friends were just, like, you know, cheering me on. And as a result, I YOLO signed up for a half marathon in three days. <laughs> so I'm totally, I mean, I am, like, I'm in shape, right? But I'm not prepared for it, right? In the sense that I'm not peaking for it, like, like you know, trying to get, like, my best results. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I have no doubt that I will finish it knock on wood unless like you know in an injury or something like i have no doubt but still i want to be able to do uh, a reasonably good time i don't know if i'm going to um i think my goal is to get it in um in two hour 15 minutes it's my first race so there may be some complication with that um like a 10 minute pace is what i'm aiming for um and hopefully eventually i'll be able to get that down but uh but definitely especially Without preparation, that seems like a tough ask. So we will see. Uh, and also, oh yeah, the reason why I brought it up is two things. One is, you know, you've been if you've been watching a, a long time, even if you've not, uh, leave a comment, show some support. I would appreciate it. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like right after I paid, I'm like, hmm, what, what, what am I doing? You know. But I already paid now, so it's it's committed, right? Like I have to do it. Uh, or like, you know, I'm not going to waste that money, but still, I'm like, what am I doing? That's what I'm thinking right now. <clears throat> but one is show some support if you can. Uh, I appreciate it deeply. Uh, two is, I know that the last time I talked about running, um, there are a couple of people who run. So definitely get, if, if you, uh, uh, if you're a runner, give me your best tip or give me your most helpful tip about some idiot's first race. Um, this is my first race ever, kind of. I mean, I've done other races before, but but those are more like, uh, like the Spartan five or like, uh, uh Spartan five k, Spartan ten k, like basically stuff that are like you do it in the mud and all these things. I actually, I think once I actually showed one of my my runs on 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 this YouTube, but but yeah, so like they're just like obstacle courses, and I like doing obstacle courses, but not a pure race. This is my first actual only race, so we'll see how that goes. Um, those of you who um, actually also knows my racing things from the Spartan race, I usually do race in a costume. And also for those races, I, I generally do one with a bunch of people. Um, cause it's just like a friend type thing. But this one, I'm doing it by myself cause it's just YOLO and last minute. And, uh, so definitely it, it is, it does, it, it's, uh, it's exciting. I, I don't know that I'm scared per se. Like I said, I, I I'm going to finish it, but I get a good time. That's the only, um, you know, like I. If I don't get my best time, you know, it, well, I didn't, I didn't set it up so that I rest enough for the best time and stuff. And I have to sleep a little bit earlier the next couple of days because the, the race is at 7 a.m. Um, and my my regular waking up time, it's uh, noon. So I'm kind of off by about six hours over there. So I have to figure out what, what to do. So we'll see how that goes. But <clears throat> give me your love, give me your support. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry for the long intro, but but it is something that's exciting for me right now. So uh, I will see how that goes, as I said. <clears throat> All right, today's poem is 2370, longest ideal subsequence. You're given a string S consisting of a lowercase letters and an integer K. We call a string T ideal if the following <clears throat> conditions are satisfied. T is a subsequence of the string S. The absolute difference in the alphabet order of every two adjacent letters in T is less than or equal to K, right? We turn the length of the longest ideal string. The absolute difference in the alphabet. Okay. A subsequence is a string, da, 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 right? Note that the alphabet order is not singular. 
Okay, that's fine. Uh, ACBD. Oh. Oh, the absolute difference. So it's not. Huh. For some reason, I thought it was like increasing, right? Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. Um, so there are a couple of ways you can think about doing it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there are a couple of ways you can think about doing it. I think it is kind of very tricky to conceptualize. I mean, I, what I'm thinking of right now, to be honest, is just kind of try to figure out how to explain this in a good way. Uh, the way that I'm going to go about it is dynamic programming, and you can think about it with um, top-down dynamic programming, maybe. But I, to be honest, this is one of what I would call a suffix dynamic programming with respect to just, yeah, just caring about the suffix. And as a result of that, uh, as a result of that, it is, um, for me, it's just, I think this is one of those things that like the first time I learned it, I wrote, I learned the bottoms up and that's the way that I always think about it. And the idea behind this suffix is just that um, this, and it comes up uh, in, in a couple of places, but this idea of that only the less, the, the last character matters, right? Um, so here, I'm going to just write it very quickly and then, and then we'll go over the code and explain it together. I think there there is definitely a way to write it such that it is um, probably more natural, but I think the way that I write is not, uh, it, it skipped a couple of steps. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it naturally as I would write it, and then we'll unroll it backwards and kind of to explain how it works. I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so then now here, um, let's just say best is you go to zero times twenty six, right? And then for C and S, um, yeah. And then maybe O D A is you go to wait, just so we we get that. So then now <clears throat> uh, maybe current is you go to O D C minus O D A. So then now we get the alphabet, right? And then here we can just say best of current. is equal to the max of all the things that are less than or equal to k, right? So then now maybe we, we start with, um, um, let's just say start is equal to current minus k. We, we want this to be at least zero. And then n is equal to min of zero, uh, 26. 25 actually, right? Current plus k. So then now we can do for um, i in range from start to n that is equal to max of best current, which is to say that doesn't change, or best of i plus 1, right? And then at the end we can just do return best of max and that's it. I know this looks pretty iffy because it's not correct, <laughs> but um, hmm. Oh, because it. Hmm. Actually, this should be plus one anyway, because to, to be inclusive. But why is this wrong? Hmm. I actually thought that would be right, to be honest. So uh, hang on. Best. So A, C is already. Three is already wrong. Because, oh, because it's looking at itself. That's what I thought, but, hmm. I thought I could get away with it. But, um. I think this should suffice. It's just that there is an ordering problem. Um, I mean, I thought about that when I was writing it, but I wasn't sure that that would affect it. But, uh, yeah. Let's give it a submit just to see if I got it okay. And that looks good. 1486 day streak. So this looks very magical, right? Uh, we'll go over it, don't worry. This is linear time, constant space, or of alpha space, where alpha is the size of the alphabet, which goes up to 26, right? Uh, all right, so what is going on here, right?
So this is dynamic programming, what I'm saying. So another way to uh, unroll this is that maybe we can have um, a per character thing, right? So per character, you would write something like dp is equal to, um, let's just say zero, I think it's fine, times um, 26. Yeah, okay, fine. For do, 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 in index, right? Or not index, n, right? And then now you would maybe think about it this way where, <clears throat> okay, we still do these things. And this part I hope is pretty straightforward. We just kind of iterate on adjacent letters that are less than or equal to K or great. Um, so it's absolute value. So you go up and down. And of course we're gonna bound it by zero and 25, just the A and Z, right? So you don't go out of bounds. Um, and then the idea here then, right? Is that this part is a little bit different, right? Um, so the, the thing that you wanna do here is so now what does this dp mean dp means that dp sub ij is equal to uh at index i the longest sub ideal i guess ideal subsequence that ends at character j is length dp ij i guess right <clears throat> So that's basically um, the idea, right? And once you realize that, then now we can do it this way. And here I don't need this. Um, DP of, uh, this I is confusing. So index sub, um, yeah. Something like this, right? And maybe we'll just, I'll, I'll convert this to I just to be consistent with this notation. So I do like writing out the word index for whatever reason, right? Um, so this isn't quite right. For the reason that um, we have to copy th this thing over because basically every time, you... oh. mm, this is actually very wrong. I, I forgot something. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right. <clears throat> Something like that. Right. This is basically, you know, regular DP. We have to set the base case, which is that um, DP sub I of current is at least one, say. Because you know you can end. That's the base case, and that if you don't do anything, that'll be the, the um, you know, it ends at the current character, and you have a length of string one. And then here we just want to copy over because basically at the next index it's the same, right? We don't change anything. It's fine. Um, so we have to copy it over. And then basically now, and I'll give it some bit just to kind of show that it works. Hopefully, it's not ever a mistake. And it's twice as slow because we have to do this thing here. And then the idea here then now is that, okay, hopefully this makes sense, this is dynamic programming. The idea here is that, okay, the, um, the longest at index i that ends at character j, well, for most characters, we just double, we just copy from the previous one. Um, and actually, hmm, this is a little bit awkward. I guess this only, in a weird way, this only comes up when i is not one because this copy this copy overwrites it. So I think I just messed up on the base case to be honest. Um, you could I think the the real way to do it is that you start this at index one and you set the base case as the first character. But I think I've kind of mucked this up, so it's a little bit yucky to read. But in any case, yeah. And then here is just going okay. Well, what if what if for this sequence we add it to um, j right the character j which we know because by calculation it is within k bounds. So what if the last character is k? So let's say we have um, this string here. Uh, let's say we're at A, okay, it doesn't matter. And then um, let's say B, right? B here, we, we uh, K is two, so then now we try A. If this is B, what, what happens when we try to connect it to an A? Well, the longest thing that ends at A is gonna have one length. Uh, the longest thing that ends at the length C is going to have two because of A and C, right? And so forth. So that's basically how this dynamic programming worked. And once you realize this, um, one thing that you realize from the space optimization uh, perspective is that I only depends on I minus one, right? And as a result, you can just 
do a, a, another thing, right? So now instead of for n, you could do it from say two, right? And then now this would be i minus one would be you know the previous index, and you could kind of muck some stuff around it. Uh, you could well, what I would do is just mod two. I think is the idea, but right, and this already makes it um, maybe not that much faster in terms of uh, of time complexity, but obviously from space com complexity wise, this is much faster, right? And then. Um, oh, I guess in this case it is just. Mm. Hopefully, this is still right. Right? And yeah, and now you, you see, I, I don't know why this is slower. I mean, I think it's slower because we do a lot of mod twos, but in it, and mod twos are not actually that fast. But in any case, it doesn't matter, right? Now, now we, we can see that the memory went down. I don't know how accurate this is but in any case right um but then now here one thing to realize is that um one thing to realize is that because of this copy what, what happens if we can remove this copy right and that's basically what i did um in the first case is that i removed that copy by reusing the same space which is why we have um you know we used if we reuse the same space then we don't have to copy right it just you know um, but the, the tricky thing is that because of order of operation or like the thing is that if you um, do things in the wrong order because of dynamic programming, you want to always do them in the order that lets you um, update when, the, when the, the, the data is available, right? And the thing that for this particular problem, which is why this looks a little bit awkward, is that, for example, if you have something like um, AC... E, let's just say when we update this C, we update it for, if you look at this for loop, it actually updates it in, uh, let's say for, for character C, it updates it in A, B, C, D, E, right? That's just how, you know, the K is equal to 2 works. Uh, so now it updates it for A, and for character C, it goes, okay, let's update this. We can end it, or, you know, we can connect this C with the A, so that's going to make the longest thing ended at 2. But then now when we go to B, and then when we go to C, C more specifically, we're like, oh, okay, we could connect this C to the C. So then now it tries to make it three because, because we, um, we basically double count itself. And the way to get around it is that we process it independently from all the other places and more importantly, first, because then now this is this one, even though this looks very awkward looking, this particular one is the previous version, and we update the previous version on the previous row to the current version on the current row. It's very tricky. And, and this is where um, bottoms up dynamic programming becomes pretty, um, you know, um, is, it, could be, it could be very tricky for this reason, right? And, and this reason being that, <coughs> that, Sometimes the very good people, and I'm not counting myself on them, the very good people, like you have to be very careful about your for loop orders and stuff like that just to save the space because there are a lot of subtle things that you might not realize if you don't have a good grasp, a good understanding of the problem and how it is solved. And that's why so for a certain, um, let's say coin change, um, coin change is a dynamic programming problem with combinatorics, and sometimes you see it, the for loop going in different order sometimes it's deliberate and sometimes that order really matters and this is one of those times just in a less uh imp less crazy kind of way but um but yeah that's what i have for this one this is linear time alpha space yeah that's all i have thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye